any of those Russian and Chinese technology? Absolutely not. And, and absolutely not. Uh, and, you know, it, when, when the UAP task force, you know, report came out, um, it was actually beautifully written. And, and, and I, in this sense, it's the sense that what it said and what it didn't say. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was very apparent to me when I read it, you know, reading between the lines. And um, I actually think I know one of the persons who, who actually wrote, wrote that finished product. And it was written by a pretty sh- sharp guy. And, and, and basically what they were saying is, you know, you did the possibility, but the other, you know, that, that other thing, you know, where it could be something totally different. It, it, you know, I studied, worked on figuring out what the Chinese and the Russians and everybody else had, you know, in their arsenal of high tech. Now, there's nothing is even close to this, nothing. And, um, you know, um, uh, it, when you when you witness these things and you see these things, and I know Lou, you know, is, is always very careful about what he said, what he says, and what he can say. But you know, I was privy to some of this stuff, and I can tell you, there's absolutely no way on God's green earth that these things are are, are terrestrial or belong to a, a government. They are other world or other dimension or other something, but they are definitely not ours, and they are not Chinese, and they are not Russian. And everybody in the government knows that, I might add. Can you describe those Russian and Chinese technology? 